Okay, um, using the same circuit that I've been using before uh, for the pulse generator, I'm going to use a relay. Next to it I have some magnets. Uh, the relay will be uh, powered by a 1.5 volt D cell battery. The load, instead of a, instead of a neon here, I'm going to use uh, two LEDs wired uh, um, for the two different directions of the AC current. Um, uh, so the, uh, the green, green one would indicate current in one direction and the yellow one would indicate current in the other direction. And um, so just like a Jewel Thief, uh, this Hendershot circuit can power uh, LEDs using a, a 1.5 volt battery and I'll show that. So connect this up. So um, this magnet here is uh, moved around until until the buzzer starts going. This this relay is a 12 volt relay, but with the magnet on here and moved to the cer a certain spot, um, this guy starts oscillating, even though it's a one and a half volt supply to this guy which I find pretty incredible, but basically the magnets uh, cause a flux in here that allows the relay to get going, even with this lower power. Now the current draw on this battery is around 26 mils, and we're driving um, two LEDs. I'll show you that if I uh, move the buzzer, LEDs go out. So there's definitely a certain spot where this works. A certain distance. If it's too close, if it's if it's not close enough, the um, the battery uh, goes directly into the coils, and um, so like if I remove this magnet, the battery's full on on the coils. If I put the magnet such that the relay clicks, no current flows. So I have to kind of move it around until it buzzes. It's kind of hard to do with one hand here. There we go. And the LEDs are lighting. I find that pretty amazing that this battery can make this relay go, since it's a 12 volt relay. Now, um, if I um, do hold this by hand, uh, I'll take away some of these magnets. So now I have just these neodins. I'm going to attempt to um, move this around and find a, a place where it's kind of low current. 